Welcome to totally over regular stupid people. Or no, tired of ordinary regular stupid people podcast episode two. Hi. Are you tired of regular stupid people? This is the tired of regular okay. stupid people podcast episode two. As my co host Zach just fumbled the bag trying to do the intro. He said the name wrong twice, three times. No, I, I got, got it at correct the, end. the first time because I've it's obviously our podcast fumble. room channel name, so I can read it right now. That's what I was doing. I was trying to go off of it. Well, you you can't I read, for- so. I, oh, I well, the acronym doesn't really tell you. Spell acronym. A C. <laughs> yeah. R. Look it o- up. H. Look it up. N Y M. You just had to Google that. Pro name. No, I didn't. <laughs> was that right? No, it wasn't, but it was a valiant <laughs> effort. <laughs> Let me see here. How... F- we'll take a pause while Zach looks up how to spell acronym. You guys, he had to Google that. I had to Google it the second time, but the first time I got it right. I guarantee... You're trying to fucking gaslight I, me. I'm willing to bet any sum of money that you looked that up. I looked at that one I, that no, I just the read. the first time. No, I swear I on would, my I would, life. If I won the lottery, I swear, if I woke up that was tomorrow off morning. Of the tip of my brain, dude. <laughs> if I woke up tomorrow <laughs> morning and I hit the Powerball Mega Billionaire, I would put that all on the fact that you had to look up how to spell acronym the very If first I had, time. like, a surveillance camera up in my corner or some shit, I would have... You'd go to prison. Cashing in. I would have been cashing in. You'd man. be on a watch list if you had a camera in your room. Why is that? Because you. What are you. What are you talking about? What do you do? Or like to like show that I didn't look it up. Look what up? Acronym the first time. Acronym the what? What? So you couldn't spell acronym, and now you're mad. No. The first time I said it, I did not look it up. And it was right. Have and then always... I looked it up the second time. Let's get personal. Have you always been this insecure about your spelling? Only about things I can't spell. What words can't you but spell? Can't I'll spell. tell you the ones I can't spell after. Mm. There's a quite a big list. I'm not that great, so. Oh. Any like just big give me chemical like three, names. just three. <laughs> yeah, the, dude. Big chemical names. <laughs> those yeah, are scary. <laughs> those are like any like those thing are, on the side of a pill bottle. Anything with fifty letters in it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> isopropyl. Yeah, that's a hard one. I, I think I could spell that, but that is a very hard one. I understand Go ahead why. And I'm looking at it. I S P. Ah, oh, fuck. Nope. Already? Yes. Yeah. You got I S. There's no P after the I S. It's I S O. Oh, ISO. Oh, I'm a retard, yeah. Okay, well, let's go. Let's just jump. I can't spell isopropofol. You're right. That is a hard word to spell. <laughs> would you be? Would you have been able to... I'm yeah, I was going to say, would you have been able to spell it if it wasn't in front of you? If it wasn't sitting in front yeah, of me, okay. I would have not okay, been okay. confident. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. That's what I was wondering. Give me one sec. I need to change my shirt real quick. Ah, I just splashed monster in my fucking eye. God damn it. Ah! <laughs> Fuck. I'm gonna turn into a fucking ninja turtle now, dude. Oh my god, it's in my fucking ball. The ball of me eye. <laughs> Jesus fuck, that's <laughs> that's how you turn into fucking uh what's his name? Rob Deerdeck. You get monsters splashed into your eyeball from like tipping the can too back too fast. And then you turn into Rob Deerdeck and you host ridiculousness for ten years. Any other energy drink you'll probably be okay. Besides like uh uh, what is the Logan Paul, uh, fucking prime energy, dude? If you drink that, you're gonna fucking turn into a toad or something. Like a, like a, a Fallout fucking 76 toad. That's what you'll turn into. You'll have warts on your back that if you pop them, they'll, like, seep Mountain Dew and fucking monster chemicals. What's happening? Are you talking shit? <laughs> no, nah, nah, dude. I guess, uh, do you want me to really go into it and explain what I was talking about, or do you just want to wait until you watch this in the pros? I'm just sitting there taking off my shirt and shit, and I just heard you. I mean, it had literally kidding. nothing to do with you, if that makes it any better. Okay. Well, it doesn't, but go on. <laughs> Basically, since it's relevant, would you think, uh, go pull up the clip of I Show Speed's dick and rate that shit right now. I'm good, No, bro. do it. It's content. It's content? I'm gonna say like a 7. 
because that bitch was kind of it was alright. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what how would you this rate be? It. Is this guy on YouTube? Uh, Twitter. Twitter. Oh, yeah. okay, that makes sense. Yeah. I'm gonna have to find the masonry. Like, Watch the video of him doing it and like his reaction afterwards. It it's so fucking video. funny, dude. It is so funny. He's like, <gasps> <laughs> you can see oh his face. Oh my god. <laughs> like a fucking <laughs> 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 Oh my this shit breaches like so fucking quick, dude. It's like a fucking jump scare in itself. It's like, he kind of like sits there afterwards too. And it just, I like, just fucking, like, me as the true Five Nights at FNAF jump scare, dude. <laughs> he just sits there and it like can continues doing it. And he's like, oh shit, what's going on? He did like the fucking snake flute thing where they make the snake dance. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he would definitely be one of his dick was, was <laughs> his dick was playing limbo. Looked, it looked like he was aroused while playing Five Nights, bro. <laughs> He's trying to fuck on there, Chica. Yeah, I think he shut the stream off like literally, if not right after, because I seen him press his star button and shit. Right <laughs> yeah. I think he shut the whole PC off. God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. He punches through his monitor <laughs> with his dick. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what would happen if that was me. Oh, That'd be rate funny. it, rate it, rate it. One through one through ten, or zero through scary. ten. Scary. One through ten. Scary out of humble. So a nine. No. <laughs> two. Probably a two. That's fair. That's what I said Ooh, too. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what I said. I think I gave it a one actually. Can you give it like a fucking like eight? Whoa, roll Actually. that back. I think I said I think I said one, guys. I'm Don't not getting worry. gaslit on my own podcast. Not happening. <laughs> no. Our podcast. Well, no, no, no. I didn't say that. I didn't say it wasn't. I said it's my podcast. So if you talk about it, you can also say my podcast because it's our podcast. Oh, okay, okay. So if okay. someone was like arguing with me and I was like, you can't talk to me like that on my podcast. You'd be like, yeah, dude, this but, is okay. our fucking podcast. Don't talk to him like that. This is my well, podcast. <laughs> this is the reverse here, dream. This is my podcast. I can talk to you however I want. You you do have me there, yeah. <laughs> you do. <laughs> you got me. That's fair. Yeah. Well, I can hit you back with this is my podcast. So <laughs> at the end of the day, I'm like a loop. <laughs> yeah. There's no winning. We both have fifty It's the scene. <laughs> it's the scene in uh, a scary movie where Mac Miller and Snoop Dogg just keep pulling guns on each other, and they're like, "All right, three, two, one, drop it." And they drop it. There's like, yeah, they drop it. And they pull out two more guns, and at the end of it, it like cuts back to them with a pile of fucking like rocket launchers and guns yeah. and shit. And they're like, what the three, fuck? Two, we can one, do this all day. <laughs> you think that's how he died? Who? Mac Miller. Please elaborate. Uh, like, he just like kept like he, was, like he was just in his room one night. If this is he just kept like sitting there like practicing. Like he was like trying to like reminisce in those days of like whenever he was able to do that with Snoop Dogg, and he was like he accidentally like, pulled the trigger doing it one of it. I should have known as soon as he started talking, this shit was finna be stupid. And like it ricocheted around the room like a fucking Looney Tunes commercial. No, he fucking him. he died of a drug overdose. Oh, I know. <laughs> no, you don't. You just asked me if you yeah, think that's how. No, you, got, you just, um, you just asked you me if you got shot by Snoop Dogg. No, my Run that God. Back. Run the clip back, guys. Serious? I have that on video. I have it on video. I have it on video. I also said it's like a fucking Looney Tunes commercial. So you're making a mockery of it. Yes. You're, I'm gonna send this to the gay work. Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the gay Twitter. <laughs> Get your fuck. Gay Twitter will eat you alive. <laughs> they ate me alive several times. They can swallow me whole though. Bro, that sounds. I, are you are you gay Twitter? I might be in charge of gay Twitter. I didn't want to ever say this until now, but I have some leverage within the gay Twitter community. Yes, <laughs> it's embarrassing. Kinda, but... I'm like kind of their antichrist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they kind of fear me. They, they, yeah, <laughs> they, they could. They could do that. No, I think their big target is Leafy. Leafy is here, but he looks like dog shit. So, yeah, they kind of like have an easy target with him. And do you like... think you could fuck up? I am Leafy. Or Leafy's here. Oh, absolutely. Have you not seen the pictures of him? I showed him last uh, time we talked on here. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, he, I, I, would, could, I, I would absolutely fuck him up. Yeah, without a doubt. I'm not, I'm not even like trying he, to sound like a tough guy. Like, I would lose a lot of fights if you, like, asked, do you think you could fight this guy? Probably not. But, like, Leafy? Yeah, absolutely. I'd knock his ass out. You think you could out. fight 
I show speed. No, I show speed would whip my ass. He's athletic. He actually plays soccer and shit and like does stuff like that. I don't really like go outside and do a bunch of like He'd cardio. Smack you from stick, he, dude. I would. I didn't hear him when he said that, but editing this, <laughs> what the fuck? It tired way like, before he would. Like he would be like, in, if we boxed or something, he would get like. He'd be able to fight me 10 rounds, no problem. I'd be, like, winded by the fucking first round and be like, oh, my God, I haven't done this before. Like, my heart hurts, my chest is tight from breathing so hard. Like, I have no experience doing this. But if we trained, I guess, maybe, but I still think he'd whip my ass. Even though he's only, like, 18, I still think he'd fuck my ass up. He's only 18? Yeah, but he's, like, he's got black genetics, bro, so, you know. And also, like, uh, he fucking, like I said, he's just an athlete. What would have happened if, like that happened with like him flashing whenever he was not 18 i don't know probably like uh twitch would get in trouble it would be like uh no it wouldn't be twitch's fault but it would be like he would probably get perma banned for it instead of like whatever's gonna happen because like age. if he did get banned for it it's probably gonna be like a temporary thing since it was accidental and like girls do this type of shit all the time on twitch yeah fucking but, amaranth and shit yeah gotten banned for it exactly but like um I mean, there was a Twitch streamer that literally showed her butthole on, on screen. It was only banned for a week. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. So, I would like to think That's they're not going to perma-ban him for it, especially since he's, like, one of their big guys. Like, their money Oh, bigger, yeah. You know. But yeah, I could definitely see if he was 17 or 16 when that happened. They probably would have had more of a reason to be like, you just showed your dick when you're a child, bro. Like, you can't be on our site no more. Yeah. Like, we can't really stick up for you here and be like, oh, it's not that serious. Like, if you're a grown man, though, it's a little bit like you did that. You're on your own. You got to deal with the embarrassment of it, too. So, like, uh, I'm, I don't know. I've seen some people saying he did it on purpose. I don't really believe that. I think that would be kind of kind of like. The way I kind of thought too, like you like sitting there afterwards. It seems like he just, just like, really was like, like being ignorant about like the fact that he was wearing underwear. Like I don't think he really believed that his dick was about to flop out of his underwear. But I think he was also not really like putting much thought into it. Like if I do this, what could result is my dick coming out. He probably is thinking it's just going to be funny. And I'm gonna, like have my underwear. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just being crazy. Oh, it's speed. But yeah, I don't I don't see what he would have gained from his dick coming out, except for like maybe if it was for like women attention. But there's other ways to do that without showing your dick on your Twitch. Like, have you ever like seen the clips like where he's like literally like barking? But I've at also women. seen clips of him like with Kai Sanat and they're like uh, with like bad models, like supermodels and shit, and like they let him like talk to him. So I don't know. I I don't think he's desperate. Hey, hey. I think he gets a lot of uh Those are hookers, dude. I th <laughs> they're like Instagram models or like OnlyFans bitches that want to promote their Even shit. Worse. They're definitely using him. I'm not saying that, but he, I don't think he's in a position to be desperate for any like women's attention. So I don't know if it was that. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it worked, boys. We're in. You know, I need if anything, it like it kind of was a, a negative on his career, you have to think. Like if he uh, Yeah, and he's like known as the guy who flies. Yeah, he was he's kind of always Twitch. been like a kid creator a little bit, like known for like kids being his biggest audience, so showing oh, a dick is gonna limit worse. Yeah, it's gonna kinda he was literally playing f f fucking five nights at Freddy's, you know what I mean? A bunch of little twelve year olds saw that man's Yeah, you think it was like a chat full of uh, grown men and women watching him play Five Nights at Freddy's? Oh my god. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he was like, he's it's literally only kids. He's going to jail. <laughs> you need to leave. It's you, you need to leave. <laughs> that was worse than DSP's like whole thing where he like jerked off after stream and like didn't realize his cam was still on and all that. Like he had to stream still up. But um, because like at least with DSP's thing, I don't think you see his dick. I think it's just you see him jerking off and like him like his face and shit. But with speed, that was all fucking scripted. <laughs> it's like a fucking uh, s uh, mm -hmm. silicone synthetic dick. <laughs> it's the same dicks yeah, like they get like on Euphoria. <laughs> yeah, he's like slapping the balls. Did you hear that about Euphoria? Shit. I'm sure your sister watches it. She looks like the type what about of person it? to watch Euphoria. Yeah, she watches it. <laughs> I knew it. She knew, uh, you hear about Fez? Yeah, I don't. I don't care. Let's not even. I, mean, I don't want to give that a platform. Dude. I don't care about that shit. But um, yeah, that shows that you. shows that shows weird and it's creepy and no one can convince me otherwise. I'd love to debate her on this because I think I this show is straight up like almost almost borderline child pedophilia, like child pornography, almost to the to a T. It's literally a show about like high schoolers doing drugs and having sex, and they show the sex in like detail. Oh my god.
Yeah, well, obviously, like they're, and they're like, supposed older, to be. Yeah, like, but it's supposed to be it, kids. It's, it's supposed to be it, children, yeah. and you're seeing these children like suck dick and like smoke meth and like Zendaya's getting fucked in her put. Like, I just don't. I don't think it should be a thing. I think it's a little predatory. It's a little weird. It's a little creepy. I think if you're watching Wait, that, Zendaya gets good, man. I think if you, <laughs> I think if you watch that, you're a little weird. But um, with uh. My point was with the whole euphoria thing is that they use from what I heard this could be completely false and they use real dicks but all of the like male nude scenes are like synthetic penises but that's that could be a cope from some guy How on Twitter How many boy scenes are in that? A lot, a lot, a lot. It's like Game of Thrones like level. Already, dude. Yeah, like the, I seen a I Twitter seen clip of it. I seen a Twitter clip of it. And it's literally just like five dudes lined up on a wall with their dicks out, and they show it in like detail, like show their dicks. I'm like, ew, bro, come on now. What the fuck is this? For real? <laughs> Where? <laughs> this I'm paying for HBO. Boy, yeah. I'm repaying for HBO, man. Shit. <laughs> I'm renewing my subscription right now. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't a fan of that when it came out though. Like when I heard about what it was like the basis of the show and shit, I just thought it was really stupid. It's like uh, it's like Degrassi, but like way less about like an actual good message. It's just kind of like watch these teens like fuck their lives up and live really terrible lifestyles that like adults would normally live. I know where they went wrong. You ready to hear it? Having fucking the show be around high school kids. It should have been about no. adults. Because literally everything no. these people do in the show is like shit that adults should be doing. Or would be doing, not should be doing. That's a whole different argument, but... <laughs> I got one better than that. You ready? Mm-hmm. Lack of Drake. <laughs> That's think... where Degrassi got it, dude. That's why... Way better. Degrassi was on way before that. Degrassi was on when my mom was in high school. The reboot one with Drake in the wheelchair and all that. Um, hey, Drake's mom, in a wheelchair? Yeah, he gets shot by a school shooter. Oh my he shoots God. him and puts him in a wheelchair, bro. I know. That's amazing. I want to see Drake in a wheelchair. He's, a, he's actually really good in it. Um, but um, <laughs> really good in a wheelchair? No, like in the show. <laughs> he's a good actor. <laughs> um, he's actually really good. He rolls around so <laughs> fucking effortlessly. He, like, it looks like he's always like he was born in it. Like he's so good. Um, fucking do the handstand up the chair uh, stairs, bro. But yeah, my mom was telling me like, yeah, I, they used to play like this show in school when I was in high school. Like I'm like, holy fuck, that's crazy. Mm. But yeah, in like 2035, that'll be like. Uh, Euphoria, they'll be playing that in high school. Yeah, they'll be fucking playing like a fucking like Brokeback Mountain for gender studies class and shit. <laughs> Inside Out too. I just saw this on Twitter. It's a Smasher pass on every Fortnite skin. <laughs> a thread. <laughs> That's so many characters. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah, he's literally starting from season one type shit. Like, there's the fucking, like, default <laughs> guy in a helmet. No! Smash. <laughs> then it shows the guy in the fucking, uh, skeleton outfit. Pass. I'm not a weirdo. <laughs> That's so autistic. Jesus Christ. Smash or pass on fucking Fortnite characters. Kill yourself. Smash. He looks angry. <laughs> Ginger. What the fuck is this guy? Smash. That smile got me. <laughs> <laughs> Pass Riz hat from Wish. <laughs> I want to report him. You should do that, honestly. He needs a fucking safety check, like a wellness yeah. check. <laughs> he needs. <laughs> <laughs> he needs someone to show up at your fucking door and see if you're okay. How are you living? Bro, like, I Jesus wish Christ. I fucking knew his mom, dude. Right. I would be sending the cops over so <laughs> quick. Let's not say what that, that reference is to, but I know what that reference is to. <laughs> <laughs> I know what that I know what you're referencing. I think, if you were referencing that, unless it was an actor. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's Three true. points for Gryffindor. Gryffindor! <laughs> oh, um, dude, go into your spiel about your Marvel game you want to make. That you would con that if you could make you know you, you want to put that inside of this yeah you okay. can make it its own thing on your ship but just for the like just you know just talk about it a little bit it'll be its own concise oh video. no it wasn't even like that guy. it was like uh we were talking about making it a uh like a series on this channel yeah we can do that but let's start the series by like starting yeah. it off here and like In just inner yeah goodness. I'm gonna have we'll to make it its own concise up? videos and stuff once we do it history. 
What do you want me to do? Yes. No, 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 never mind. I figured it out. Uh, okay. I was about to say, can you like pull up shit that you like previously asked it and it did exactly that? Marvel Warframe. It's like a Call of Duty type style uh, Marvel game. Like obviously like first person and or it could be like a, like the one like I think we both like ended up like saying it probably has like the most influence like around is uh, Battlefront 2. Uh, like it can like switch in between first and third uh like large scale uh, battles whatnot but it's mainly like a goes around like the fact of it being like a your little guy in a bigger battle like if it was like a battle from like a avengers end game and you're just like a shield dude or like like a dude from Asgard, a uh, sorcerer, you know, like just like someone like behind and like you can like slowly like build up points and whatnot to uh, what's it called? Be able to like play as those heroes just like in uh, Battlefront, you can like build up those points and or they have those game modes like, you know, heroes versus villains where you just play as the big guys. But, um,. There's like a like the features to it. It's like a you can either like join a team of elite heroes, each with their Marvel Pro inspired abilities, such as flight, super strength, telekinesis, or energy manipulation. So like the people you already be like playing as aren't just like for the most part you are a dude with a gun, but like you do get like other abilities, like I just said, like a uh, kind of like makes you little bit more incentive to be like oh man i wish i could play those types of characters and it could be like in locations like new york asgard wakanda you know like basically like it could be like in battlefront 2 how it has the eras like you can either play like the prequels the sequels or the new ones and just like this it can be like you know like past future present or like certain like this is an avengers battle this is just like an, a spider-man battle shit like that uh, do you want to say anything about it, James? Well, just I guess like going off of what you're talking about with the whole thing, it's just uh, we were obviously just, you know, talking about this workshopping it and shit. But yeah, I think it'd be a really great game. I think that like if anyone, uh, I would compare it to uh, in a simple way, not like the whole game's premise to compare it to, but just like an, an easy comparison I think to make is like Halo 3 ODST, you know? It's taking a game with these larger-than-life characters, these Spartans, right? They're almost superhumans in their own way, right? They're like Captain America, essentially, like a gassed-up super soldier. And mm -hmm. um, allowing you to kind of take a step back from that and play as a normal Marine. And that's exactly kind of what you're talking about in the sense of playing as a uh, someone from just, like, Asgard. Playing as a... Um, uh, sorry, like a fucking Wakandan guard or villain or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, a sorcerer from the fucking, uh, from like Doctor Strange's world or whatever, the Sanctum and shit. Um, just be all like a these, fucking yeah. like scavenger from Guardians of the Galaxy. Just uh, like fucking just Planet like Hulk. Like some character from, just like a random a little. Sakarian. Like, yeah, like a Sakarian from Planet Hulk. Like just a bunch of different like lower level characters that are just. It could to, just like, be like a be, dude with like yeah. a stick type shit. Yeah. Or like, you know, he has like a really big jump and yeah. really high strength. Shield so that agents, stick is really like, like that, a yeah. fucking like cannon type shit getting hit. Like, you can like white people and, at once. And white. you would have. Your weapon, whatever it be, like Zach said, you could have a stick if you're a Sakarian. You could have like sorcery magic as your weapon. You could have mm -hmm. a pistol, a fucking depending on if you're like an a yeah, shield agent, something like that, right? Like Wakandan tech, like spears, yeah. like a and little, they would like, play. Beat, all that. If anyone's played Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, you could like use your your allies like as abilities almost. So it'd be like you can call them in mm -hmm. to do certain things. So with this, what we were talking about is like if there was like a an obstacle in the story mode like a big wall you had to get through you to lead you and your like team it's like you could um call like thor or hulk or someone to like burst open that wall and allow you to pass through and it'd be really cool like cinematic little thing to be able to do that and kind of have a balance between playing as the smaller side but allowing you to also experience these like events with these big characters and other than like cutscenes and shit and then yeah like a, even if like it were to have like a uh, a story mode like it could be along the lines of like you have like your own soldier like either like it's a dude that's like voiced has like a name all that or you're just like a creative character that you just made yourself type shit 
and you go through the story and then like you know like there are those like little missions and shit like okay oh shit i'm playing this iron man or like oh shit like it's a um, a spider-man mission like you know shit like that but like uh even in the sense of like uh you like wanting to play those characters there would still be an outlet for that but the main focus would be those little guys because that's like like he said that's like not really a scene perspective i remember like uh like there was this uh like mobile marvel game where it was like in the eyes of like a like a shield agent bob or some shit and he like always like got fucked up at by the end of the mission and it was like showing it through his eyes like uh oh like iron man and captain america will do that move where he bounces his propulsor beam off of cap shield then all of a sudden the fucking agent dude in the background gets fucking shot by it type shit or he like eats a grenade that deadpool th- uh threw in the wrong direction whatever like that that would even be like a kind of like a a funny aspect to be put into that kind of like the boys like oh shit like the big like the heroes are actually like killing us type shit. like i don't care like um the best way they could handle like mixing uh you playing as the heroes but also playing as like the lower level guys would be to have the low level guys be the main like guys you play as in gameplay mm-hmm. and when you and do play as the big guys they're like it's events that aren't uh battles at all so it's like if you're playing as iron man for a mission it's like you playing as Iron Man walking around his like mansion or like his uh his like industry or something like, for and like con- having like conversations and like uh, dialogue that could affect the convers like the the story, and uh, once you get Ooh, back like, to uh, like Tony Stark, type yeah, shit. you're playing as just Tony Stark, not like Iron Man suited up. And then like if you play as Hulk, mm-hmm. it's like Bruce Banner where he's then, at. You make choices, decisions. Like in his lab, like yeah, about to like do something. Type but shit. once it switches back to the real gameplay and like meat and potatoes of the game, it would be you as like a uh, whatever character, like we said, lower level grunt character, you'd be playing as them. Yeah, it could be like a like that whole scene from Far From Home. Like, well, what about uh, Doctor Strange, Off World? Like, uh, Captain Marvel, same thing. Like, you know, like just like a bunch of like excuses. Right. Like, uh, it would be cool too to like you know like you'd be so used to it like uh like press right on D pad to do this like uh and, like all of a sudden like you're like pressing right to like send someone to bust on the wall and like. It's like, oh, sorry, they're actually uh, occupied elsewhere. You're going to have to figure it out yourself. And it would add, like, a whole dynamic of, like, oh, you have to go find those breach charges, like, in the destroyed HQ or whatever. That would make for a really and, cool like, gameplay, to be honest. Like, you uh, mm-hmm. you start to realize, like, I can't rely on these guys as much as I thought I could. So this small team of, like, people you have, you kind of build your own Avengers. You know what I mean? Like, your own mm-hmm. team. And, like, you can upgrade the them slowly. <laughs> like... Uh, maybe eventually you can give one of those lower level grunts like half of an Iron Man suit with just like the fucking uh, that'd like, be the so hands cool. Like imagine something. like a prototype yeah. glove or some yeah, shit. Exactly. Like, it's like I, I'm not oh gonna be able to help God. you guys, but I can give you this. I'll send you a care package, and it's like thanks, Tony. And like a fucking thing shoots out of the sky, like a big ass like uh, package type thing, and it's like tr- it like opens up, and it's got some gear for you guys. And it's like fuck, thanks, man. Like th- this yeah, will like help. Each I guess each person gets a part yeah. of an Iron Man suit. There's like a shit. Captain America shield, but it's literally not painted or anything it's just silver it's like here you go it's like i'll take that Ooh. you get <laughs> like, like a fucking like sling ring yeah dr strange yeah. uh spider-man's like a, web, shooter. A web shooter yeah that yeah. would be so fucking sick like his like og like wrestler suit like it's like here I, I donated this like each mm. avenger donates something to like help the cause even even though they can't be there they're like we'll try our best to help you uh, it's, it's just, just groot the fucking, uh, <laughs> groot it's standing just there the mixtape <laughs> oh, that would yeah, be badass. Fight, yeah. Yeah, it's like it's just like a it little did. note on it. Pop this in for when you're ready for battle or something. Like play this. Yeah, uh, you you'll know like, when to play just this. Just in case emergency. Yeah, <laughs> like you'll know when the time's right to play this. And then like you go in and fucking start the song starts going. Bro, imagine that's like one dude's task, like in a battle, like is to start the matches like music and just like <laughs> badass fucking like battle music. Yeah, that would be really cool and like uh just utilizing the the tech and like uh, gear from other players would be really cool and then like you kind of have your own bow and fucking, arrow yeah you kind of have like like it could have some XCOM elements of like managing your team so if like 
one of your soldiers die or something, you they're like kind of gone off your team, and you have to like recruit a new guy or whatever, and like you can kind of get like stronger guys, faster guys, people who are better with dexterity, better with aiming, like different gear sets and shit, so your team could be like optimal to what you want to run. Like, do I want to run a stealth mission? Am I running like loud and like you know what I'm saying that type of shit? And then uh, you can like gear your fucking people up like that, and it's like in a way it's like this own little version of like a a Suicide Squad or like um. The Avengers, but in a really janky way. It's like a little low-level team trying to gear up off of their scraps type shit. Would be uh, cool to like have like missions, you know, like uh, it'd be like uh, either like it could be like just like players versus AI or PvP, and it's like a uh, hero team has to sneak into place to steal this, and like the fucking like villains find out, and like all of a sudden like a fucking like one of your players gets like launched through a wall outside the building type shit like that kind of destruction like going around it and like ends up becoming just like a survive type fucking uh objective whenever you fail the stealth type shit that would be cool yeah but yeah they could do something like a like where you start like like everyone's like base just like a dude with a gun and like slowly but surely like you said like with the XCOM and like having like certain people that are higher it could be like I said like you can like get a sorcerer or get a uh, a dude from Asgard with just like a couple swords type shit yeah and then it basically or, evolves into you having like a low level Avengers team at that point mm-hmm. not just a bunch of shield agents with pistols it's like no I have a Sakarian, I have a fucking uh, a sorcerer I have uh, a Wakandan uh, like um, I don't know what they're called, like Wakanda Guard or whatever, just like someone in Wakanda that like fights. Melange. Yeah, like shit like that. And it's like, we have like each of these people on our team is basically forming like a, we have our own Hulk, we have our own tech genius, we have like, uh, I don't know what they, yeah, like just basically like tapping into each of those. And then like we were saying before, like to balance it out, really, really balance it out so you don't get too sick of playing as those guys, like you could throw in Bucky or fucking... Uh, like mm-hmm. these guys have like, like really yeah. like low level yeah inch, uh, exactly Avengers. like people and like even just heroes like um like you said the punisher like you're playing as a dude that really can't stand his ground with these avengers but he is like in his own way cool to play as maybe like along the lines of like just like mercenaries or like uh vigilantes i think is the better word for it mm-hmm. just like sh- street level people who really don't like have powers like Daredevil, um... Well, Daredevil I say technically has Jones. powers. Well, I mean, he has, like, increased senses. That's a that's power. It. That's a superpower. Oh, yeah, like, oh, you can hear this coming towards you faster. Echo <laughs> location smell is the a superpower. fucking gas. If a human echo has echo loca- location, they have a superpower. 100%. Ooh, imagine if you were in third person and that's, like, how you, you actually, You can literally like, see people through like, walls. Sonic. What do you mean? That's a fucking oh. superpower. <laughs> I mean, like, like, don't, he like, has powers. obviously, like, do, like... Obviously that, but don't do like maybe that's like a timed ability. Like you, I like, don't think every you're Daredevil would be too much. I just was like to, I'd like to state that I think he's pretty super powered up. I wouldn't compare him he, to like he Punisher and powers, anything. but he can still get his ass beat by any other fucking person. I don't know. I, but, like he can hold his hand. Like obviously, like like him Punisher, versus Spider Man. That's a pretty like I think Daredevil holds his own against Spider Man, right? I'd say he, yeah. I'm not saying they're there's not a comic agility. where Spider-Man hasn't won or anything like that, but just like I would like to think like they're both I'm, really agilic characters. Yeah, I could like I mean, I yeah, I don't know. I think Daredevil is like on par with Spider-Man. So if we're putting Daredevil on par with Spider-Man, I'm gonna say he has superpowers because <laughs> like if we're like okay, if we're gonna put the Punisher against the Dare like Daredevil, Daredevil wins, right? I mean, depending if the Punisher is shooting the kill type shit. Even if he is shooting to kill, you think he's going to kill Daredevil? If Daredevil's trying to, like, not kill him, but, like, just get him, like, incapacitated like he does or whatever. Depends if it's close qu- uh, quarters or if he I guess it is very, out. like, uh, of, like, uh, the discussion would be, like, in that moment. Like, it's so many layers of, like... There's this, like, yeah. standing in front of each other type shit. It would, there would be so many layers of, like, uh, what's it called? Like... With the weather outside. <laughs> yeah, there's too many things you would have to factor in for it to be, like, who would win. Because, like, you could put it both ways, I guess. Like, this character would win, this character could win in this situation. Him bouncing around all of that, that's just from training, like, from ninjas yeah, and shit. Yeah, I'm aware of that. I like, him like, having I know that acid in his eyes didn't give is... him agility or anything like that. I know mm-hmm. it's just... you literally, It's not sonar, it's literally echolocation. He can see through mm-hmm. walls. Like, if you're, like, walking in yeah. the next room over... he. Can can see the outline of your body 
Imagine with, if he where, like, had a know, gun. Like, if he actually wanted to and he had a gun, he could just shoot fucking uh, Frank through the wall. I'm talking like more in the sense of the game, like like echolocation. I'm talking shit. Like, no, no, like I, a... I'm just discussing like which character would win in the game. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. I, I was talking about like the if we're discussing like pun, uh, Daredevil's like levels of power and shit, like who would he win and stuff. Would Punisher go game... against Daredevil in that type of game? No, no, no. I'm just saying because you were saying like the lower level characters like Daredevil, like without powers. I'm like Daredevil has powers though. He's not low level. I would say Punisher's low level because he's just a dude with like military training and guns, but. Mm -hmm. Daredevil actually can like literally see through walls, so it's kind of like a, a little bit of like a little bit above all those other guys. But I still say he's street level, I guess. He's like a Spider-Man yeah, type I mean, character. He like jumps rooftop yeah. to rooftop and shit. But he's still like he would be super powered enough to be kind of like you know, <laughs> a threat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're definitely yeah. I agree with that. Um, imagine if like you know in the game type shit, like it would be like you know you get like. 30 seconds or like whatever like cool down like uh you get like a little like flash like type shit you can like see him for like a Bro, maybe like the five best, seconds like or, the like, best way i can think of my head to manage having like actual superheroes come in is to have them just be underpowered like and i'm not saying like uh, like I, it is going with what you're saying but like if there is a scene where you're playing as iron man a part of the game like it has to be tony stark like in his mansion and like somebody like breaks in trying to fucking kill him like some super villain like bust through his wall and he's unsuspecting it and like he has to like throw on a glove and like, you're playing as him with just like one glove on having to like fight off intruders like of some super villain type like if it was like full suit iron man it would be kind of like uh like you just want to play an iron man game at that point but like well, like imagine like if, if they it's... had that heroes versus villains game mode where you were able to. Well, yeah, that's whole. That's totally separate. That's totally separate. That, that's yeah. that's good on but its they own. Would, they yeah. would still like after you're done with the I'm story, story you get mode, that little yeah. taste. Imagine after you're done with the story and you get that little taste of it. Like, okay, I'm gonna have to definitely fuck with that game mode afterwards. Yeah, the multiplayer, like I said, is its own thing. That, yeah. that totally could have superpower. Like it could have whatever it wanted. It's a concept, but. I'm saying, like, for the story mode, I think it would be, like, uh, it'd make more sense to have you play as, like, these heroes in vulnerable positions, or if, like, not at powers at all. Like, if you're Spider-Man, it's a scene where, like, you're fucking, you have no web fluid or something, and you have to literally just was, rely like, on combat. like, the Daily Bugle and, like, fucking Green Goblin, yeah. like, and you, smacks and yeah, you have, shit. Yeah, you have no fucking suit, you have no uh, web shooters like, with you or something. Stealthily, like, web this yeah. every now and then or some shit like that. Or, like, sneak around to, like, make something drop on top yeah. of Green Goblin. It would have to be some shit like that, like, in order to balance it out. Because, like I said, I feel like if you, like, you're playing as a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent, and then it jumps to a mission where you're, like, full-blown Iron Man flying around, like, shooting shit out the sky, it's going to feel really shitty when you go back to playing as that S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. So to balance like, that, imagine, they could just be, like, like, when you play as one of these heroes, it's almost like you're still an underpowered S.H.I.E.L.D. agent in a way. Like, you're still playing as these good, uh, powerful heroes, but they're restricted with what they have because the situations like it could fit into the story too. Like maybe some supervillain team, like fucking Dr. Doom and whoever the fuck, I don't know, form a plan mm -hmm. to be like, we're going to like ambush all of the Avengers and like earth's heroes at like once. So we can't even give them a second to prepare. Cause like, that's what they, that's where they get us. Like when they huddle up and fucking prepare for it. So let's catch them with their dicks out. Yeah. Like, yeah. Let's catch them with their dicks out. And like they bomb fucking professor, uh, like his Xavier school for the gifted or whatever. They start, like going around bombing like terrorist attacks almost and like all the heroes have to like meet up in one spot and be like what the fuck is going on like who's doing this and yeah it could like play into that and like you, you play as iron man when he like the uh, the attack kicks off and it's like him just like chilling at home and like pff, the fucking wall explodes and like like you're like on the high floor of a building you get like thrown out of it but like your suit comes to you but it's like just the boots or something yeah, and you have to, like, from, uh... it's like a chase scene you just have to fly away from these guys attacking you you're just like flying through New York or whatever. Imagine you know? something like you're like ripping through the sky and all of a sudden you get like shot down and you only are like able to like use a... Uh, maybe like he's at the level of like nanotech or whatever and he's only able to like, you know, like have enough energy to like have like a glove or two or like a glove and a boot. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I really like that idea. Even I don't like... The only one that just, like... There's too many me, like, games issues. that like... There's too many games that like just like here you play as this play as like Spider-Man play as Iron Man play and I know there's not right now, but that's like the mm -hmm. main main thing like games game developers are gonna do they're like yeah play as these characters but I there's something about playing as like an underpowered character like someone like a uh, battle torn and shit like I want to see 
I want to see some like varied combat. I don't want to just be like the most badass person. I want to see these characters kind of like struggle. And I think that's the whole point of like the game in general of like playing as like a, a shield agent or anything. You want to be on the side of like this isn't just like all fucking flowers and roses and shit. And we're just like it's easy combat. We're just mashing X. Mm -hmm. It's like no, yeah, characters can die. Like little shield agents you're working with. Like normally those little shield agents don't mean shit. It's just like yeah, it's a background character that blew up, like you said. But in this game, it's like if yeah, like those are your comrades. You know, like you get back to main base or whatever, and there's like a little memorial for your fallen squad squads and shit. It's like that'd be kind of cool. Ooh. Yeah, like in memorial. Yeah, like, uh, like, like kind of like up how to the end of Captain Warzone, America. And, like, like credits. Yeah, like you walk up to Captain America. It's just like Steve Rogers on like the helicarrier chilling, and you just like walk up to him, and he's like, "Yeah, like I'm so sorry. Like I've lost, you know, good men too, in, in combat, and like gives you a little pep talk and shit, and you can like interact with each of like the main characters and shit, and get like they'll all have something to say about it, you know." Yeah, like, like, seeing him sit there, like, all, like, bloody and shit, like, yeah. uh, Captain, like, remember that one scene from Endgame where Captain America, like, literally used his shield to, like, keep his arm from, like, like, coming open? Like, yeah. his arm was, like, split in half, basically. Like, imagine, like, sitting there, like, seeing him with, like, a broken in half shield, like, on his arm type shit. That should be sick. And, like, sick. you know, like, it's, like, you know, like, leaking blood and whatnot, like, Oh, yeah, and that could be like the point in the game like after that that could be like the opening scene of the game like i said like like all the heroes are getting like attacked out of nowhere mm. like, terrorist attack and then that's how it leads into like we can't really like do anything like we're defeated and like the and then your little team comes in and it's like well we're gonna try to pick up the pieces for you guys and like help out and like figure out who the fuck is behind this shit and like because maybe like uh, in this universe one of the big characters like iron man maybe he dies in the beginning or something and like mm -hmm. that's how i mean maybe to avoid it being too similar to the mcu maybe we make it like spider-man or hulk like a big dude dies but like yeah, like uh, i mentioned like yeah I like and they that could have like, like, like a, all like of them get taken son. out like he could be an established like, character hey. in this universe because you're talking about like sakarians or whatever Sakaar. maybe maybe yes yeah, a car like maybe uh Hulk's son is like a fucking character that comes in and like that's like who your Hulk is on your team instead of it being like Bruce Banner like generic ass Hulk every single time I was like, thinking along the lines of uh, Luke Cage with it being like street level characters yeah, but like, Hulk's son Hulk's honestly son works, street... works way really good too. Yeah, he was gonna say well, he's street ca street character to the max. Like nobody really no even knew Hulk had a son until recently with Disney Plus. Unless you're like a big big like uh, Planet Hulk back okay. in the day and shit like no that. No one. Well, yeah, I knew about him since like they did a. Sh you remember the Agents of Smash? You're an Disney? exception though. You're a huge Disney or Marvel mm -hmm. fan. So like think about like the main people who are gonna be playing like a Marvel game. They're not gonna really know like oh, this is Hulk's son. Like obviously when they figure that out, it's like that's cool. Definitely has some potential. Like in this world, like, maybe I, Eddie I like Brock whole, isn't like, a fucking villain. That'd be super cool. He's agent villain, uh, agent Venom. Yeah, it's like uh, a fucking he, he, chill version of Venom that's not like trying to just kill people. It's like the uh, Sony universe Venom where he's kind of like balancing it, like an anti. Do you know anything about Agent Venom? No, I mean I could get the gist of it from the name. If you want to explain it though, I've never uh, heard of it. he's like basically like I wouldn't say Iron Man. But some kind of he like absorbs some kind of suit of armor, and he's like basically not like, a, like an Iron Man suit. Like he can like, like make like venom missiles come up and like shoot at people type shit. And like he just like has, I don't know if it's like guns or shit like that, but he's like different from actual venom. Like it looks like a. Yeah, just like a mess. That's the type like of shit Iron I Man want too. for this game. I want like shit yeah. that Marvel isn't like used to doing. Like this has to be the most like unique Marvel universe out of any game or show or anything. Like it needs to be <laughs> like to the level where it's like like yeah, like like the dynamic cool comic character, like cosmic ghost rider. Like there is no ghost rider in this world, it's cosmic ghost rider. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. those are the type of characters it's, it's that Miles it's the, Morales. Yeah, there's no Spider Man, it's Miles Morales. It's like uh there's War all these, machine. yeah. There's like a uh, bunch of different like versions Wong. of the characters. <laughs> like Fing Fang Foom is like Iron Man's biggest villain in this universe, and like, um, yeah, like Modok has long been killed, and like there's certain like cool little like oh fuck like this is what this is, and like the you know it pulls you in immediately with the story. It's like I have so many questions. Like it opens with like the fucking Avengers Tower just being blown to fucking bits and like then it cuts over to Xavier's school for the gift of being blown up and like missiles being dropped on it and then it cuts over to fucking the Baxter building or whatever getting blown up and like you know and then it's like holy shit what the you fuck is happening missions, 
you know those missions at the beginning of the game where you fight a boss and it's very obvious like you know like the you end. can like do this as long as possible but yeah. if you die like yeah, that's like it, it carries on from there yeah like, you it was have meant to you die, meant to die. yeah carry on imagine like you do get to play as all of those big characters Ooh, but, like, that, yeah it's, like yeah their final fight that's what i was kind of saying though like but yeah. maybe a little different like i guess like um that's what I, I was saying, like the opening scene. That, but in a way, still underpowered against the Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Like up. the prologue would be like, it opens up with like all of these different, like the Avengers to, are like Iron Man's building getting blown up, re the Baxter building being blown up, the Sanctum being blown up. And like each time you're seeing one of these places get like terrorist attacked or whatever, attacked by the villains, mm -hmm. you're like running through the, the sequence of like what happened like 10 minutes right before that happened and like the, what happened to that character inside of that set location. And, and like, like imagine when like Iron this, Man's like, building gets blown up, it's like we were saying, like you do play as Iron Man, but it's like it, he was caught with his fucking dick out, basically, like just in yeah. a house. So it's like him imagine with like, like half you, a suit on or something, like you said, nanotech kind of low. Maybe it was recharging mm -hmm. when like he got caught with his dick out type shit. So he has like like mm -hmm. you said half a suit that's underpowered, and it's like power critical, and he's like fuck. <laughs> like, imagine oh, like no. you open like that, and like you know like it is like him like with his pants down and shit, and like he after goes to he call the other team. Out, yeah, he's like, guys, I need help, and no one is like, Shh, just static. No one's answering. And he's yeah, like, guys, I need help, guys. and all of a sudden it cuts in the building. Just yeah, it cuts. It's like, <laughs> and he's like, yeah, he's like, he's like, uh, Banner, where are you at? And it cuts over to like Banner, fucking under rubble, just like the building blown up and shit. Like him, like coming out of it, like <gasps> it shows like cams of all of them, like Banner, like what are you doing? And it's just like like showing him like getting like thrown through like space or some shit. Also, be like that heroes versus villains mode where you're just playing as like a 6v6 or something six heroes six villains and like go at it in a fucking land like huge city battle or whatever map it may be mm -hmm. you know i think that would be a huge opportunity missed by marvel and anybody game developing I see fault like <laughs> fully destructible environments fully mm -hmm. like you can like literally like take down like the base of a building and the whole thing will come crumbling down or you could like shoot a person through a wall type shit like imagine like you are a grunt you got like a fucking like kick back like a motherfucker shotgun and you like shoot a dude and he flies through a wall and like you shoot a fly through a wall too because of the kickback of the gun type shit that shit would be it sick. could be some crazy ass battles i'm surprised like, like no one's has ever really made like a crazy ass scale like I know, like, Battle feels like the closest thing to it, but even then, like, it has its limits. But, like, imagine, like, a full, like, city. Every single building is destructible. Uh, like, you, every, like, you can, like, punch a hole through a wall type shit. It's, like... Yeah, I'm hoping we're getting there uh, with technology. Mm -hmm. um, like, voxels and shit is, like, pretty pretty on par with that. I'd like to see voxel engines get, like, major improvements and shit. Yeah, like be like a uh, fucking Unreal Engine five type graphics. Yeah, because like a vo like basically, I think I've explained this to you before, but just for like anybody watching this who doesn't know, voxel is essentially like most games are are uh, animated and created with uh, polygons to make out the graphics and shit. And uh, voxels basically is just every single every single value in the game is its own cube essentially instead of it being a polygon reference like creating like surfaces and edges and shit it's literally like each individual piece of something has uh physics and everything to it so if you punch a wall every piece of that wall would react dynamically uh to it like it would in real life obviously it's a little blocky looking at the moment but that's what i'm saying once uh people get like that voxel shit even more blocks to create better looking images mm -hmm. You know, make it not look Higher like Minecraft. Yeah, more pixels. Yeah, not. essentially, it's just yeah, stretching it out, adding even more blocks to it. Then it's gonna look like a real image. And then like yeah, like you, that would be really cool to see a uh, a fully destructive uh, combat game where it's like that, where you shoot through a wall and like you see like the bullet hole, like the light coming through the hole in the wall that you shot that mm -hmm. tiny little bullet from. It's just like a little light stream. And it like goes Beep. down like a couple walls too, yeah. type shit. Like you like see like the lamp it hit down the corner on the other side of the room down the hall type yeah, shit. That would be really oh, really fuck. badass. Yeah, <laughs> I'd love to see that. Like a grenade being thrown and it creates actual like craters and like not to the yeah, level of battlefront, battlefield, floor but, and yeah. shit. 
Yeah. Like, like imagine like it just like the roof, the fucking walls, yeah, like, like the, the whole actual building. shrapnel from the grenade like blew through mm -hmm. the roof. So you see like individual pieces of like debris blown from the ceiling and shit, where like pieces of the grenade actually went through the ceiling instead of it just being like a big bl explosion that just blows up the wall or something. It's like you see individual pieces of that surface get destroyed in like in real time. It's like literally like shit like still like like imagine like a fluorescent light like hanging there like on like, be a sick, type yeah. shit imagine like you know like 20 minutes later or two all of a sudden it just like the wire snaps and drops like that sick. kind of fucking detail yeah someone throws a grenade nearby and it makes the like ground shake and that makes the fucking light like drop oh. and it breaks or something it's like holy shit bro imagine like fighting out in the road and like you throw something and it like makes a hole down into a fucking like sewer system or like a train system That'd be really fucking cool. Yeah. I'd you be just, there like, for drop that. down like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but shit, do you want to wrap this up? I think we've been going for uh, over an hour now. Thank you guys for watching the Tired of Regular Super People podcast. I'm your host, James. Joined with me as I'm... always, my host, Zach. My co-host. Hello. I'm also his co-host. There is no main host. Just co-host. We're both hosts. We're both just co-host. Oh, we're both co-hosts. We're both co-hosts. Um... So yeah, just like the, like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you guys want to be um, updated on when we upload our new videos. If you like the content we post, uh, we're going to be trying to get these out a little more frequently for you guys. So, yeah, there was a little bit of a curve there figuring out how to do everything. Yeah, so if you like the videos, definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell on this channel. You'll be told when we upload our video. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. See you.